Good morning. Um, you might be able to see the reflection of my camera in the background here. Just ignore that. It is, what is it? Sunday, I think. <laughs> Sunday. Um, and we're going to go to Portland to visit my sister. So I'm going with my mom and Ronan. And I decided to vlog today because I miss you guys. And I haven't had a chance to do that. So I think it should be a fun day. I don't know how much will be montages because you know me. And you know I get weird like vlogging in front of people and it's just kind of awkward. But there will definitely be a lot to show in the city. Like Portland is amazing. So I'm pretty excited. And I can't montage going down there because I am driving. So see you in a minute. Ronan is bored and he's like, what do I do? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Is Auntie getting you? Because we're in line. If you look way down there, there's like a donut shaped sign and there's a line. That's Holy Donuts and we're waiting because it's the best donut place, but they sell out of donuts. They just sell out. So with mom and Devin and the little one. And we hope that there's still donuts when we get there. You see this? This dress in the window? It's hard to see with the reflection, but there's sloths all over it. The most important person I've seen so far in the city. He's looking for airplanes. Because we're waiting for the donuts. I didn't want to go in with the stroller. It's just too much space. They're all like potato donuts. This one is like a cheesy bacony one. What ones are these? Uh, this is the triple berry holy cannoli. Um, I think the lemon, lemon blueberries down there. This is maple bacon, Yum. toasted coconut, um, sweet potato, sweet potato no. ginger, dark chocolate sea salt. That's like my fave. One Delicious. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. Ronan is trying to steal ice. He likes to eat the leftover ice from the Starbucks. But we are in Max Cali Blues because my mom wants to look at jewelry. This is like the most hippie store. You guys know we are hippies, so I used to come here all the time. Like everything is so pretty. They have like little Buddhist things, lots of little crystal. You can put a candle in here. Elephants. There's tons of jewelry in here and clothing. Tie dye, of course. Look at these dream catchers. Oh, you see the lights? Yeah, there's stairs here. I don't want to have to navigate that, but look, pretty cool. Maria from Gentle Whispering would love it in here. Everything probably makes amazing sounds. And there's just interesting things to look at. What'd you get? Uh, I got these like little green earrings here, Pretty. The silver, and then I had to get these because of the tattoo. Well, would you? Oh, little trees. Okay, yeah, I see. Devin's got her little tree tattoo. Yes. You guys remember that? And then and I got this like bangles? it's like attached, you know, so oh. they won't fall off. So you okay. just slap it on. And... Pretty. Yeah. This is where my best friend works, Alex. It's a gluten-free bakery in Portland, so if you want to come see her, she's not here today, but I will go inside and I will show you some of the things that she makes. It is delicious. Yum. Apparently Alex makes amazing eclairs. Devin is getting raspberry a tart. vegan breakfast bomb. Yes. It's over here. here. Yeah. Sounds good. Peanut butter fudge, which obviously I can't eat peanut butter around Ronan anymore, so. incredibly sweaty. We've been walking around the pier kind of, letting Ronan get some energy out because no one wants to be in a car seat and in a stroller forever. He's playing with this balloon. Let go! Let it go! Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Again! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, he just pulls it back down again. Good job. Thrilling stuff, but yeah, the pier is here so it's nice and there's a breeze. Go! <laughs> He's a sweaty boy. We have strategically been trying to stay in the shaded part of the city, but it's kind of hard, so I am very sweaty. Oh, you want my ear, of course. Do you see the motorcycles? Oh, cool. 
What sound do they make? It's a big one. It's a big one? It's a big one. Nana got you a look present? The, you have to look, look inside. inside. Look in here. It's a kaleidoscope. Look in the hole. Can you, you look in there? understand. <laughs> look in here. He's like, you guys are freaking weird. See? Like that. He mostly just wants to look in the other end of it right now, but that's fine. He'll figure it out. It's fun for shaking. Look how cute these cards are. Got boxes, pugs, octopus, little otter, hedgehog. We came into the shop that had uh, the dress with the slots on it, and me and Devin both shrieked because there's llamas on this. It's amazing. They also have a cat one, but I actually like the llama one better for some oh, reason. A fox one. <gasps> you know I love foxes. Let me see. Actually, the llama one's my favorite so far. We're getting Christmas gift ideas. We're at Gelato Fiasco. Ronan had a little bit of mom's dark chocolate gelato. I got sweet resurgum and cinnamon cream cheese flavor. That is a chocolatey face. A sleepy baby. Come on. Ow. Ow. How come you say ow about things that don't hurt? On the road again. <laughs> it's 5.45 p.m. and this dude is zonked, so I think I'm going to get all our stuff dragged upstairs by myself and then hopefully he won't continue to sleep because we both need to take a shower. I feel nasty. What a fun day. Such a long day though too. I need to clean still. Gotta pick up the apartment and vacuum. I actually don't think I want Ronan to be on camera much right now because he's in a diaper and I don't want perverts to see him so I'm just going to get him further down the couch, but I wanted to have girl talk, and I, I look atrocious with my wet hair right now, but it'll be okay. <laughs> also, I think I need to change up my diet because I know I've not been eating well at all, and I think it's affecting my skin. I always have really clear skin. It's just like discolored, like I have dark circles, and like it's always like red under here in my nose, but right now the texture of my forehead is not cute. I don't like it, so I definitely think it's just like too much sugar bad food. I had to clean it back up to where I'm eating, you know, like brown rice and tofu and beans and other vegetables and good things. Things actually. I, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to rant about that. <laughs> I want to talk about my date. So I'm not going to go into detail about it online. I'm probably going to um, FaceTime Lynn's tomorrow and have girl talk details about it. But online, I'll just say that it went really well. I had a date last night <clears throat> and I was very excited about it. Usually I don't accept dates. People have asked me in the last month, like a lot of people have asked me on dates, I'm not gonna lie. Not even being conceited about it, but I've said no. <laughs> or I've just been like, I wanna get to know you better because they usually ask within like the first 24 hours of talking. And I'm talking about like dating apps, like Bumble and Tinder and stuff like that. And whenever I have a Tinder, don't worry, my bio says I'm not here to hook up. And if people are rude, then I just ignore them. <laughs> so. It's okay. But mostly I match with people on Bumble. Like this person was from Bumble and hit off right away. Like the conversations were just really good. I feel like we have a good amount in common, but they're also really different from me, which is intriguing. So that could be good. Very attractive. And like I said, usually people ask me to go on dates and I say no because I don't want to get a babysitter. Like I just feel like I don't like them enough to get a babysitter. I'd rather be my son. <clears throat> but in this instance, I was like, I want to get to know this person like now. So I was like, we should get together Saturday night, and I set up a babysitter, and it was a good time. Got Thai food, went out to dinner at like 7.30, and we were just walking around and talking after that until like 11 something at night, when I was like, I should probably go home, you should probably go home, because he lives like 40 minutes away. But that's just good things, if you can just talk non-stop that entire time. So I'm pretty happy about that, and I got a good night kiss. So thank you guys for all the outfit um, suggestions and stuff. You guys are so funny and so sweet on Instagram. Made me laugh, but, um, I did take them seriously. Unfortunately, I got hives, like, throughout the night because of my stupid cold allergy. I'm allergic to the cold, so that kind of stinks, and the weather was really weird that day, so my hair was not cooperating. Like, I have the kind of hair where usually if I curl it, it just stays curled. It never is one of those people where it's like, oh, I curl my hair in an hour later. It's not curly. No. But this day, it was like rainy and weird and humid, and I went to work, and when I got back from work, my hair wasn't curly anymore, so I tried to recurl it, and it like really didn't work. And also, I cut myself shaving that morning, so I had a band-aid on my leg, and also, my shoe was falling apart, 
but they're the only shoes I brought to my mom's, which is who is babysitting Ronan, so I couldn't go all the way back to my house to get a new outfit or anything, so I had to super glue my shoes, and in the process, I like super got super glue all of my fingers, so then they looked really weird and white and like crusty, and it was just gross, so then I had to put my fingers <laughs> in nail polish remover. Basically, moral of the story, I'm a hot mess, so if I ever meet you and I come off as being like super cool, just watch my vlogs, you guys know I'm not at all cool, <laughs> but... It was a good time, and the conversations were really good. Also, I feel like, I don't know if I ever told this story, but sometimes I tell it to coworkers or people I'm friends with, because I, I'm not ashamed of being a hot mess or being a weirdo, but I have no game sometimes, and I get nervous, I just talk, start talking. So one time, it was like a situation with like a Netflix and a chill kind of situation, except we never like kissed. I mean, like I just want to make out with him. And... So we watched a movie and then we had just been cuddling and stuff. This person forever ago. And oh god. So then my cat was like laying on the floor in front of me and there was like a silence. And so I just filled it and I just started talking about how when you have a cat, if you die, they don't wait that long to like eat your body. Whereas if you have a dog, like they don't they'll they'll be loyal and like they won't eat you. Cats don't wait that long once you die to eat you. I think it's fascinating. I like stuff, information like this, but it's not really like setting the mood kind of information. So yeah, the guy was like, oh, and then he was like, yeah, I was just thinking about kissing you, but then you started talking about like cats eating your body. And then we made out anyways, because I was like, um, I want to make out. <laughs> but that just goes to show I'm such a hot mess. I don't even know. I don't deserve people's kisses, but I will take them. <laughs> My mom made fun of me this morning because I played this movie and I was singing this song and then I turned the movie off because I really just wanted to like listen to this one song and she didn't even like it. I'll fight anyone who thinks it's not a good song. Hey, hey, hey. 